A lot of people ask me which Cisco certification should they do. And this might look like a um, genuine question, uh, but I think this is a wrong one to make. And what I mean by that? Instead, if you ask which role do you want to take on a certain company, it will direct you to a certain certification. So people should instead trying to understand or find out what they want to do in a company and then discover the skills required to be in that position, in that role. And this is one of the reasons why I got into networking, because I already had an idea of what I wanted to do on a company. And that's why I chose networking and then I chose CCIE because I didn't want to be a software engineer because writing codes and all that stuff just seemed like too much for me and not so interesting. And I also wanted to be a hacker. And the idea I had is that hackers, they were breaking networks, not softwares, which I knew. Uh, and so networking was the path to take and when i found out about ccie right get 100k it made a lot of sense in that time so i already had a professional and financial goal uh, by getting into networking so people should have uh, a similar strategy and i found a document from cisco that i believe is going to help a lot uh, for all of you that want to get into networking or even thinking about uh, taking the, another step in your career, whether it's changing from networking, security, data center, or any other specialization that you're currently working on or you plan to jump to. So I wish I had this uh, when I started. It would save me a lot of time and money as well. So let's take a look at this document. Okay, this is the Cisco certification skills metrics. And essentially, it guides you from the basic entry level uh, as a role, as a, an individual inside a company, and towards the highest level you can achieve. And this is just Cisco recommendations or guidance. And you don't have to follow strictly uh, this, uh, this strategy or this path, but it just gives you an idea of what to expect uh, according to the level you want to be or you currently are in the moment. So it starts from the entry and moves towards associate, professional, expert, specialist, and architect. And you can focus on different technologies such as data center, design, routing switching, security, service provider, video, voice collaboration, and wires. So start looking at the routing and switching uh, technologies. So you can see that they have these organized uh, per levels you have here, entry, associate, professional, and the roles uh, associated with those levels. Now, those roles, they are not the same in different companies. So you might be in a company where you are a network administrator, but this is just the job title, but your roles, what you do on a daily basis, might be uh, related to a network engineer or an architect. So the distinction that I want to make here is that uh, the job titles, uh, it depends a lot on different organizations and countries as well. Now, what Cisco uh, say is that to be in this position, in these uh, roles, uh, you are expected to have around this time of experience and that's uh those are the functions that you're expected to do uh being in that position for instance being a network administrator you're able to manage a small or uh, enterprise branch network and again it depends a lot on a different company and you should have around uh, 
two years of experience. Now, they also highlight what is the applicable certification. And this is an audio document, by the way, uh, but they recommend that, okay, to be in this level, a help desk network admin, so the CSEN certification uh, should be enough. And you can see that it uh, goes uh, on from uh, network specialist or network support engineer. And you're expected to take around one to three years uh, and you should be able to install, monitor and troubleshoot network products. And by taking the CCNA exam, you should uh, learn the skills required to be in that position. And the same applies to professional where you can act as a network engineer, network consultant, and you should be able to manage complex networks, uh, optimizing infrastructure and the certification or the recommended certification for these to be in this level is CNP. And if you want to be a senior network engineer, you're expected to have around uh, more than seven years of experience and you should be able to implement and troubleshoot complex converged networks and the certification related to this is CCIE. Now again, this is what Cisco recommends from their perspective, but uh, it depends a lot in which environment you're working on, which company you work in, which country you are working. For instance, I want to work as a network consultant. So probably I shouldn't waste time on taking the CSENT or CCNA exam. So I might just uh, jump directly into CCNP and gain or develop the skills required to be in that position. Now, it doesn't matter if you take three years or five years to take the exam. The exam is not what you see on a daily basis. Okay, Just because you take the ANCOR and RC exam, SD1, doesn't mean that all that you learn during that exam or to take that exam is what you're going to actually see on real life or depending on which project you'll be working. So that's the reason I say that the certification is not related to the years of experience that you might gain. It all depends on which environment you're working. And this applies to all the different uh, technologies. In my case, I worked with different technologies like data center, design, security, service provider technologies, uh, video not that much, but voice also, deploying co-manager and installing IP, IP phones. So wireless, not that much, uh, but to be able to work in these different technologies, I didn't have to take the certifications or to spend X amounts of years uh, to be able to work in those positions. Okay. At the end of the day, the question should be which skills you want to learn, you want to gain in order to be on certain positions. Okay. And we can take a look at the data center. Uh, it has the same, uh, same levels, uh, design, uh, security, uh, service provider. Okay. Uh, video and right now it's uh, collaboration and we can see wireless as well. So I hope now you're clear about which certifications you should choose first based on which roles you want to have on a specific company. So choose the role, choose the company and then choose the certification. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you on the next time.